You already know, just look at my face. Hate it. All right, no more discussion about it. Thank you. But then, <laughs> love it, love it, love it. I hope it never goes away. Hi guys, so in today's segment, we are gonna do a game called Love It or Hate It. And these will be, oh boy. <laughs> gonna be a long day <laughs> and these are gonna be traditional trends and also current trends absolutely so <laughs> do you want to pull the first card well yeah I wish I had <laughs> so tell them what it is animal prints you want to put your sign up sure Yeah, I don't. not so much. Yeah, only animal print I like is cowhide print. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all know that <laughs> cowhide. That's really not so much an animal print. It is. It's an animal. Yeah, but there print. is there's no print on it. The it's spots. Usually... Okay, I'll give you that. Spots. <laughs> One hundred and one Dalmatian spots on the cowhide. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Next. <laughs> Barn doors. Ooh. Love it. Okay, so can this mean over it? Over it? I love it. I still <laughs> think it's a great alternative in a small space. So you just slide instead of having the door open onto your space. I love it. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's just over it. She's Sharika. So, I love it. I still think it's a great alternative to make any space a little bit updated. And it doesn't have to look like a barn door. Not because it's called a barn door. It can be like, you know, I mean, there are some nice cool, glass ones. sleek glass. Yeah. So probably we shouldn't say barn door. Maybe we should say sliding, sliding door. door. Okay, sliding door. Love it. Yes. Love it. <laughs> okay, next one. It's my turn. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Bolster or an accent pillow on a bed? Bolster as an accent pillow on a bed. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Bolster as an accent pillow on the bed. You can tell I didn't write these. <laughs> um, I actually hate it. Yeah. Yeah. I just think they're low. It's it's aged. It's I just like the freshness of a pillow, of an accent pillow. You know, the shape, square, rectangular. I just don't like this round bolster thing. I, I never did understand them, but some people like them. But for me, hate it. We agree. Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, your turn. <gasps> yeah, I'm not really into the bolsters. I prefer an accent pillow. Mm -hmm. Good job. I know, it's probably gonna be something I hate. I threw this in here because in the last segment we had a big debate about this. Hmm. <laughs> she is it, so obsessed it with is this. Is a cowhide? Do you love it or do you hate it? I'm gonna do one of you. <laughs> I love cowhide. <laughs> Over it. No. I'm still over it. All right, no more discussion about it. Thank you. My turn. Let's hope it's something nice. Matching window treatment with bedding. You already know, just look at my face. Hate it. Matching, matching, matching is horrible because you change your bedding and then the same window treatment no, get something neutral, something nice that you like, and keep it moving. Yeah, it gets too overwhelming when the window treatments yeah. and the bed is all the same. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to pull it there, maybe a trim. Yes. Or if your window treatments, if you want to do like an accent pillow on the bed, nothing more than that. Yeah. That's where it stops. Yeah, <laughs> match matching it up, it's no. Yeah. No, that's that's too that will really age you. That's yeah. like. <laughs> Ooh, that on my bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Moving right along. Copper accents. I actually, I actually love it. Yeah. I actually 
actually love it. It's a nice warm touch to any room. I really like it. And the good thing about copper, you can match it with pewter, you can match it with, I mean, any metal finish, and it looks good. I actually like it. I love copper accents. I mean, it's a trendy thing now. Well, it used to be a trend, it went away and it came back. Yeah, like anything else. Yeah, I love it actually, and I love using it in a kitchen, mm -hmm. or it just adds a cool, unexpected touch mm -hmm. to any space. Yeah, it, it makes the space also, if you have like an industrial space, yeah. I really love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Floating kitchen shelves. I can tell you I hate it. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it because especially in your kitchen, you go quickly grabbing stuff and you have to always keep those things neat mm -hmm. because it's always exposed. So for me, I hate it. Maybe one or two with some books, cookbooks, which I don't think people use cookbooks anymore. You know, the internet is so, you know, yeah. easy access. But I really don't like open yeah. shelves in the kitchen. I think, why not put some cabinets yeah. that you can use and it also adds some depth and some dimension to your kitchen. I prefer cabinets as well. Yeah. yeah. Floating shelves is just too open. Yeah. I think if you want to feel open, I think just do cabinets with a glass right. or frosted front. I think right. in my mind, because I, I was going <laughs> to say that. We're in sync today. Oh. <laughs> Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> Penny tile. I, <laughs> I love them. I hate it. Oh, I love it. I saw it um, at a opening the other day. For the kitchen. For the kitchen. Yeah. It's beautiful. They have like copper. Maybe it was a color that made me love yeah. it. They have like coppers and golds and ivories. It was beautiful. I love it. It's not like the old time penny white one that's on the floor. I don't like those ones. I like the color ones that are on trend right just now. so small. I, I like it's it. It's not my favorite. It doesn't have to be, it would probably look horrible in a large space. Yeah. But I think in a small space, I think it'd be wonderful, especially in the metallic tones. Don't love it. It's not my favorite. My turn. <clears throat> Subway tiles. <laughs> So over it. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna get one of these. I'm so over it. Yeah. Even though I'm over it, then some instances where it can look it nice. can look nice. Not the it's traditional so small ones, but you know the ones that are like 24 by 12. So, you know those it's ones look really scale. the larger scale one looks nice. But you can only use those in a very large space. So you know if the space is too small, you know using five those tiles it will not make any difference or yeah. any impact. But I'm so over the subway yeah. tiles. And I wish they'll stop calling it subway yeah. tiles. <laughs> <laughs> because when they say subway, I'm thinking New York stinky subway. Right. You know, I don't know. That's what they use. Yeah. They well, use. just say tiles and yeah. call it a day. Yeah. Not my favorite. No, I don't hate it on the. Yeah, so maybe, so maybe I should do one of these. Over it. <laughs> <laughs> This is a given. Oh, wallpaper. <laughs> Let's do one of these boomerangs with it. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. I hope it never goes away. I just love what they've done with it. Like yeah. they totally revamped what wallpaper used yes, to be. Yes, yes, yes. The different types and. Yes, I we did a video on it, so you can check it out. Yeah, <laughs> I think, and I think we need to do another video on it because it's we just got some new books in. Yeah. Oh my God, they are great wallpaper. The yeah. texture, the tones, the three-dimensional look of them, wonderful. Awesome. I love wallpaper. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to add accent to a bookshelf, mm -hmm. to an accent wall, especially in your master bedroom, mm -hmm. or people who are afraid of colors and texture. Mm -hmm. It's very easy. You put it on. Yep. If you don't like it, you just whip, pull it off, wipe down your wall, and it's great. I think my favorite place to use wallpaper is in a powder room. Yes. Because it, it's a small space, mm -hmm. and when you open that door in the powder room, it's just transformed into this. Yes. Different atmosphere. Mm -hmm. I love wallpaper. Mm -hmm. I never thought I would. Yeah. I love wallpaper. 
Sorry guys, I had to reset the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, I have the last word. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Art over a bed. Mm -hmm. I like art over a bed. I love it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Use your signs. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, you should have dead space according to how high your headboard is, that dead yeah. space in between there. Sometimes it feels really awkward and you don't know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. But there are some small art pieces or some nice decorative mirror pieces mm -hmm. with, with nice shape, interesting shape that you can do. I think it, it's really nice. Yeah. I like art over a bed. And we have done some room where there's nothing over the bed. It looks really empty. And after we look at it, we're like, dang, mm -hmm. we should have went ahead and put something over there. Yeah. But our clients mm -hmm. didn't. So, you know, I love it. I really love it. I love it too. And I prefer a larger piece of art. Some people like the smaller, I like the larger. I go bigger, go home. Well, it's important to how high the head well, how high that Yeah, if you only have like 20 inches over the headboard now. But if it can fit it, then yes. I, I, for me, a rule of thumb is at least four feet. Yeah. Yeah, about four feet, you know, between 36 inches and 48 inches. I think I could do something really nice Yeah. I'll make an impact in the room. Also a place to bring in color, especially mm -hmm. a lot of people are doing neutral palettes now. Yeah. So the artwork is a place where you can add in a little touch of color and also your personality as well. Yes. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today was fun. I'm <laughs> glad that we agreed today on a lot of topics. Yes, we did. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> And stay tuned for our next design segment. See you later.